can see on the wagon behind me there, I'm at Barrow Wheel, I'm at the old um, engine shed roundhouse. So we're having a day out at Barrow Wheel today with Jim, who's around. He's around somewhere, he's a bit excited. Um, so I thought I'd bring the camera down because a lot of the stuff that we're going to see here is kind of intertwined with the local um, history and all the videos that I make as well. Everything, mate. Yeah. Everything. Bacon, sausage, egg. I'd say, I'd say you're like a pig in mud, but that'd be <laughs> cannibalism, wouldn't it? Nice little room, just to tell you a little about the history of the site. A couple of interesting things in here. Um, this is the uh, main attraction, I think, isn't it? The, the roundhouse. Great central engine. Done plenty of great central videos. Having a on the right hand side and Midland engine on the left hand side. The British Rail closed the engine shed in 1991. Its future looked pretty bleak. A group of enthusiasts battled to save the roundhouse and it was listed in 1991. The site finally reopened to the public as a visitor attraction in 1998. So this is what they use to lift, lift engines, isn't it? Barrow Will is the last surviving railway roundhouse with an operational turntable. And at regular times throughout the day, you can see a demonstration of the turntable in action. Bogies. I'm not quite sure what they're off. <laughs> Don't know if we can, we can get around there, unfortunately. Let's have a look outside and Jim. So despite only living a few miles up the road, um, unforgivingly, this is my first time visiting uh, Barrow Will, but I have been scanning all my dad's photographs and he looks like he was here every other weekend from the amount of photographs that I've got. You know, you see things here, Jim, that you, we see out when we're doing disused yeah, railways, you come across yeah. the lamps and... Yeah, uh, I know, they're fantastic, it, aren't it, they? It's strange, well, it's, it's not strange, it's, it's quite interesting just to see them. Yeah, where they should be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, was that the coal? Was that for loading coal? I think it was, wasn't yeah, it? I think it was, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of iconic photographs of yeah. that you see around of engines coming underneath yeah. this and then in later years, diesel engines as well. All the old architecture though, isn't it? Yeah. Like the buildings. It might be water actually. Look. Could it be water? Yeah. Yeah, you got this, got this blue thing here. Yeah. yeah, you're right. 
I like these little lights here, so you can go in or not. That's a water tower there. The old toilets. And the uh, old water tower here. Yes, although it is pretty dormant today, there's actually a lot quieter visitor-wise than I thought it would be here today. But in the week, it is uh, it is a working site. There are companies that are based here. I think it's 40, 50 people work on the site in the week. See, I still remember these running in my lifetime. Uh, when we used to go out on the train, I remember probably just on the way out as I was getting old enough to remember. But this one here, wow, it feels really, really weird to see these now. I suppose at the end of their working life, and this one's been taken on by another company, Euro Phoenix. But I remember these being introduced in the late 1980s. Oh, wow. Obviously, living in Doncaster, electrification, it was an exciting time. Uh, and also seeing them being built on this trip to Crew Works Open Day in 1990. I mean, I remember these coming into service. It doesn't seem that long ago. It's unbelievable to think that they're yeah. now be know. replaced by, by something else. It's not currently at Barrow Hill, but it has been here for a number of years. It's a class 89 prototype electric loco. Now, this was a common site at Doncaster in the early days of the East Coast electrification. The class 89. Now, I remember... Um, I remember going on a train from Doncaster to Leeds. I think, if I remember rightly, it was just some Mark II carriages, but Class 89 at the front and a, an HST power car on the back. And I remember the guard um, announcing that it was the first uh, revenue earning electric service between Doncaster and Leeds at the time, 1988. I can't remember the dates, but I remember it was something like 20 past 12 the train left Doncaster. I don't know why that sticks in my mind, but I remember the ticket, the little uh, the ticket that my dad say when he wrote on the back of it, first electric train, Doncaster to Leeds. And they were proper nameplates. I and mean, look at the detail in that. So I suppose this is the modern um, face of Barrowell. All the, I um, mean, lots and lots of signs around rail innovation and things like that some new sidings here there's a lot of research going off you've obviously got the uh, um is it henry needle or harry needle i can't remember it's the one at workshop as well isn't there um just behind uh, b and q coalesce rail yeah it is a full it's a proper working site this great little viewing platform or it's coal in stage. I've just been rabbiting on, haven't I, about the uh, wrong information about the, uh, here we go, the spider. All right. So, so I said it was coal, didn't I? Jim said it was water, and there is a, a water outlet now. That might be a modern thing, I don't know, but that, this is just explaining here. Um, this was how they, they loaded sand. So yeah, the locomotive would have positioned under the tower where sand would be dropped into the sandboxes. Yeah, many a photograph I've come across uh, of my late father and my late mother stood on top of this this coal, uh, coal in stage, looking down at various, various events. Catch points.
sadly the signal box isn't open. A view of the yard as well from up here. So a little line going off in the distance there. I don't know if they still do the little shuttle uh, shuttle trips. This isn't the original Barrow Will signal box. This is actually the original signal box from Station Lane in Pinkston. It dates back to 1897 and it was moved to Barrow Hill in 2007. It's got the name Staveley Engine Shed on the signal box, you'll notice there. The, the Barrow Will, um, the roundhouse, the engine shed, um, has been here since 1870. In fact, there was um, other kind of railway presence, engine shed presence prior to that as well. But the actual things that we can see today, 1870, and it was open till 1991. So that's that's quite recent uh, in my eyes. I mean, there's still modern, you know, class 58, pictures of class 58s and stuff um, in the museum using the facility. Um, but it, it was, original name was Stavely Engine Shed. And I think it was 1948. I'm not great with dates. I'm sure it was 1948 um, that it was renamed to Barrowill because it got a bit confusing with all the other um, Stavely sites. And I'm no train spotter, Jim. I'm, I wouldn't even call myself a, a railway enthusiast. But a lot of these things are things from my childhood. Yeah. I was yeah. I was dragged around railways growing up. Absolutely. And yeah. it's stuff I it's stuff I remember. Oh, yeah. And yeah. they're good memories because I, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm without a mum and dad now, and they're things that. I can think back to, yeah. and, oh, we're, God, yeah. and we're going to yeah. go and have a look now, aren't we? Um, in the Delta yeah, section. That. So that, that was that was my childhood because the Delta yeah. were big in the seventies. Oh yeah, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed seeing them. And, These, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Awesome. I, I was lucky last night to see one going through Lincolnshire. Yeah, and Jim's going to let me use his photo now. Yeah, slightly before my time, um, the Deltics. Um, 1980, I was born. They were. Uh, yeah. on the way out but I do have remember my mum telling me we, we took a trip to Berry Cup on Tweed apparently I was only two that's where the wife's from and uh, she's oh, changed Berry Cup on Tweed yeah. yeah so she'll know the Dell tips yeah she will do yeah, yeah. No, she does she used to love them I mean she she was absolutely knocked sideways last night to, to see that go through that one so close as yeah. well yeah it's a front office shunter there it's a bit cleaner than some of the uh, some of the shunters I remember seeing around Here is a line of said shunters. See, these were always, you saw these at most stations, didn't you? I mean, we had one, I mean, we had several in Doncaster, actually. Um, remember Escafeld at Sheffield? I remember that one. Class 20 in front there. All right, let's have a look in the, uh, in the Deltic shed. Yeah. I always remember this being blue. Look at all these. I tell you what, it must have been a fantastic time to work on the railways and yeah. be working and maintaining these. Uh, absolute work of art. So I have no idea what I'm looking at. I mean, it's an engine, isn't it? But. Bit of a squeeze, isn't it? Wow. Wow. So this is the cab of a Delta then. Makes you wonder how they see. It's not much uh, visibility there, is there? No, there's no visibility. Right. Where are you taking us today? Well, I'll tell you, there's no visibility at all. You'd have to be, I think, well, you can't be too tall. I mean, I'm six foot and I can't see over the end of that. So you are literally just looking for the signals and the line ahead of you. Sorry, it's not the best lighting condition in here, folks. There's I mean, your, your there, look. there's no computers being anywhere near this. No. 
dashboard is the no. mechanical purely mechanical it's got off reverse forward engine only <laughs> is that the horn this is the thing in the horns just there so i presume that that'll be the horn there so which one's the uh, coffee pot yeah that's right there's the microwave <laughs> 100 miles an hour even an entrance into the engine. Crikey. Brum, brum. Yeah, make all the right noises, you'll be fine. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely moving. Wow. I must be, what, a, what a privilege it must have been to drive one of these. Oh, Although yeah. I have got to say, like you pointed out earlier on, I'm a bit, I would be a bit concerned about what I can't see out the front. Yeah, but it's not too bad because you're looking in the distance, aren't you? When yeah. you you're not looking like a yeah. car, you're not yeah. looking at the yeah. immediate yeah. That's right. 20, 30 yards in front of you, you're yeah. looking in yeah. the distance. Yeah, you're looking for the signals, aren't you? baby delta project just over there we can't get any closer to it than, than um, this railing unfortunately but that's a train that no it no longer exists the, the class completely extinct but they're, they're building one from from scratch um with a class 37 chassis i believe i think it so is. i was saying at the beginning of the video about the links to the local history and the videos i've done in the past the old Stavely Central Station sign up up there. We finished looking around the museum um, in the yard with the engines and the Delta Pre uh, Preservation Society. We've had a scone, a bit of cake, um, bacon butty. Uh, just having a, a little look on this uh, on this platform, Roundhouse Holt. Presuming this is where they do their, their little trips from. So I hope you've enjoyed this little informal tour around Barrow Hill, nothing too seriously. No plan or agenda for today, it's just been nice to get out and have a, have a look. I wouldn't normally bring the camera if I went somewhere like this because it's local and I thought it'd be all yeah, interlinked nice. with it's been great. stuff I've done in the past. I thought it'd be yeah. interesting just to come and fill a little bit, so I mean, great people, day. People have got to come and see this place, it's really yeah. good. It's nice, I'm quite surprised actually. I'm very surprised. Yeah. I thought we were just going to see a few Deltics. I didn't realise I had all this other stuff here as well. Yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. Really good I'd come back again or come to a session yeah, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, so yeah. sign off then. I'll see you very soon on a normal explore video. So cheers for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye Jim. <laughs> see you later.